My name is Lori Leach, and I was diagnosed about a year ago this month with melanoma, um, metastatic melanoma cancer. The first time that I realized something was possibly wrong, I was um, giving myself just some self-exams. I had found a little um, swollen lymph node in my left arm, and they had thought that maybe it was just from having an illness or an infection in my body. So. I kind of waited for several months to pass and the, the area continued to get bigger and so I finally went back in and my doctor said let's go ahead and get a ultrasound on it so he did. And that's when we found out that it was melanoma. It's called the um, silent killer because a lot of times people don't find out until it's too late. So they um, said you know I could have eight months to live, I could have you know, depending on my therapy, I could have 20 years to live. It's, you don't know. Me, like a lot of other people, are probably ignorant. You think, oh, it's skin cancer. Oh, well, we just go to the doctor and get that fixed. But um, then when Lori uh, said uh, to the whole family, oh, this, is, this is a lot more serious than you think, that was a big shock uh, for, for not only me, but the entire family. I think. The, the hardest thing was thinking what was going to happen to my children. I have four children. One was to get married, so, you know, within that year. And I had a new grandbaby. And I wanted to live to see all of my kids get married and to see my grandchildren. And it just wasn't supposed to happen that way, you know. Um, I think once Lori realized there was a treatment in place and she knew where she was going, she had more resolve. But I think in the beginning it was fear, a lot of fear. Yeah. There was a lot of crying yeah. <laughs> for all of us, so it was scary. I do remember going to um, MD Anderson and, and talking to the doctors when they wanted to tell me what their plan was. She said, is this something you want to do because not everybody makes that decision. And I said, if it's going to save my life, then yes. If it's going to help someone else out in the future, then yes, I do. Everybody in the world knows about MD Anderson. Yeah. And you work in the healthcare field. I'm a nurse. And when you hear somebody that's going to MD Anderson, you're like, you're, I, in my mind, I'm thinking they're getting the best care that is available to them. Um, I was not aware of the partnership with Jason's Deli and MD Anderson. Yeah. You start kind of researching it and it just totally changes your whole idea of the caring and sharing. Yeah. And how Jason's Deli has cared about their families, cared about their extended families, and then just the plain Jane that walks in every day and orders your broccoli jitter <laughs> soup, <laughs> you know. Um, and I realized that that is what it's going to take to battle this disease, cancer. That is what it is about, is getting the word out. And so um, kind of talked about it with my, with, you know, my crew and everything. And they were like, oh my gosh, we love Jason Stelly. And I said, well, you, you've got to know what they're doing because it is such mm -hmm. a, an amazing thing. Because you're not amazing. going through it by yourself. They're saying, hey, you're not alone. You can mm -hmm. do this just by sharing the stories. A lot of my um, treatment was so hard on my body that I honestly, they pretty much kept me well medicated. And so the people that really took care of me, um, besides the nurses and the doctors at MD Anderson, was my family. And I, I say still to this day that, you know, it was hard on me. The hospital stays were long and difficult, but I know that probably my cancer in the end was probably harder on my family than it was on me. Kristen and <laughs> Sheila and my mom and dad and my husband and my kids, I mean everybody, you know, they, they are the ones that really got me through it. There is no way in the world that we would have ever made it without our family and our friends. So everybody bonded together to help her through it. And we couldn't have done it without everybody. No. There's no way. Lori has six brothers and sisters. And everybody volunteered to come down and stay with them. 
they would take turns. And they did. I mean, some of them would come down after my, my radiation. Some of them would come down, you know, after my chemo. Mm -hmm. That's the bad thing about being one of the caregivers. Yeah. You want to be there every single time, but mm. you can't be there yeah. every single time. It helps to have a team. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest things. And it just goes to show you that, you know, it can happen to anybody. It doesn't matter your personality, who you are. You can get through it but you have to have that support. And if, if you don't have that, you have to ask for it. Because there are people that care, and they don't have to be family, they don't have to be friends. They can be Jason's Deli. Mm -hmm. They can be somebody at MD Anderson. There are people that care.